Let me ask you that. So in your 30s and 40s, who are you? What do you want from your life? Let me answer that. Dating changes big time in your 30s and 40s. I'm gonna tell you exactly how and what you can do about it to still have a good time, but to build a relationship that'll last your whole life. Now to talk about 30s and 40s, we gotta talk about how dating really works in your teens and 20s, right? It's, it doesn't. <laughs> really, honestly, it doesn't. Dating in your teens and 20s is a lot about fun, feelings, and honestly, broken attachment. Dating in your teens and 20s is really about having a good time and trying to figure out what people want from you and what you want. By your 30s and 40s, I hope, you should have an idea what you're actually looking for, what you do and don't like. Maybe you're just getting out of a marriage, actually. Maybe dating did work for you, well, a little bit worked for you in your teens and 20s, and you got married. Maybe you've got a child. Maybe you have two children. Maybe you have five children. Maybe you're widowed. Maybe you just never really dove into that game and you've been waiting out the other side so that the people who did get divorced and get kids out of their system, maybe you don't want kids. Maybe you're looking at the other side. Maybe you've always wanted kids and your relationships have never worked out and you've been engaged for eight years and just broken off. There's a number of reasons people might date in their 30s and 40s, but generally speaking, if you're dating in your 30s and 40s, then probably dating in your teens and 20s either didn't work or you didn't find what you were actually looking for for a long-term relationship. Now, some people might say they just weren't really seriously dating in their teens and 20s, and that's a possibility. A lot of people, though, in their 30s and 40s are frustrated. They're angry, they're tired of the game, they're bored, they're looking for more. 30s and 40s is when you start defining your life. You start getting really serious. Life... Well, you're hitting the middle point. What do you want to build in life? You don't really want to go out the other side with nothing. You don't want to hit that midlife crisis and say, well, I could have. You want to build something. You want to actually have something that lasts. You are looking at the front end of legacy thinking. 30s and 40s, dating in 30s and 40s is a lot more built around legacy. So what is legacy? Legacy is the thing that survives you after you die. And that's a little grim, but that's what legacy is. It's what's going to carry you into old age. What will you watch un unfold and develop in your old age that you're proud of? What can you look back over your life and say, I did that. I accomplished that. And what can you carry honestly and your grave with you satisfied knowing that you made it happen? Well, it's probably your personal relationships with other human beings or things that you built, things that you did that left a ripple, that left an impact of some kind. 30s and 40s dating then is focused on that. A lot of people in their 30s and 40s, like I said, they may have kids. They might be a single mom or a single dad. They might be widowed. They might be divorced. There's a number of things and they might be looking for a good loving partner who is going to set them up as a healthy family for the rest of their life. They got the kids, but the family didn't work out. Now they want someone to share that life with. They want somebody that when their kids are at the other house for one or two Christmases or one or two Thanksgivings, that they have someone with them anyway. They want someone to share their life with. They want someone to enjoy the second half with. That's what legacy is also about, is what do you enjoy together and what will you build together? So a partner. 30s and 40s dating is a lot more about partnership than teens and 20s. Teens and 20s is about two individuals having fun and trying to figure each other out. 30s and 40s is a lot more about settling down with a partner you can trust. So in your 30s and 40s, who are you? Let me ask you that. In your life, what do you want out of life? I'm going to leave a pinned comment down below. What do you want from your life? What do you want from your life? Let me answer that. You probably want good things. You want love. You want commitment. You want legacy. But specifically, what is it you want? I want to hear. Drop me a comment in the linked thread down below. What do you want from your life? That's what's going to drive your dating in the 30s and 40s. And that's what you can share with the other person. See, your teens and 20s is all about what you could do for each other, or how cool you are, or how hot you are, or how nice your hair is, or whatever it might be, physical features. By 30s and 40s, your physical features are still there, but my friend, they're going to fade a little bit. The luster will go a bit, and it will slide down over the next few decades. I will warn you that nobody gets out of this life looking glamorous. We all get out looking like wrinkled little babies. So plan accordingly for you and for your partner. In your 30s and your 40s, though, you can talk about what you're wanting to build through the rest of your life. You know, I have this and this, but what I'd really like is to build this. This is what is still left for me. This is what I would really like. This is what I'd really like to pursue. For me, I've been married to my wife for 13 and a half years, but we are still talking about our legacy. What are we building? A sustained family system built on love and attachment. That's really it. If we can give them a financial inheritance along the way, Fantastic. We also need to give them a good moral backbone and guidance and principles so that they can stay together as a loving family. That is the most important feature for our family. Okay, well, let's build that family legacy together. What does that look like? If we were just now dating for some reason, that's what we would talk about. We would talk about the same things we talk about now. Yes, I was one of those boring old guys in my early 20s. But you know what? It set us up for this. People who are dating in their 30s and 40s usually have got burned by somebody else who was not serious about that. 
Are you serious about that? Do you know what you want? You need to define it so that in your relationships, you can talk about it. So what legacy are you wanting to build? And then how are you wanting to partner with other people on it? Can you get to a place where you can trust other people? Do you trust other people? Or are you burned so badly that you now can't trust people? Have you been dealing with an anxious attachment system? Are you avoidant attachment? Are you disorganized attachment? You should fix that because in your 30s and 40s, it matters a lot more than it did in your teens and 20s. You do not want to partner up with somebody who has an attachment issue later in life because the disaster are worse. It's no longer adorable when you're crushingly anxious. It's no longer adorable when you start fights over spaghetti. It's no longer attractive when you blow up at little things. It is a serious problem. So if you have attachment issues in your 30s and 40s, you need to get them fixed fast. Click the link down below, sign up and schedule with me. I will teach you how to end those attachment issues. Or click the link to check out my attachment bootcamp course and blaze through it and fix your attachment issues yourself. So you'll have deeper relationships. And in there, it talks about building a lifetime legacy system. And it talks about how to build a partnership. It also talks about how to build a loving, committed relationship with a healthy dating partner in that course. You probably should learn that. But all of this weaves together in your 30s and 40s to build a healthy system based on stability. 30s and 40s dating is very much about stability, principles, goals, and legacy. So where are you at with all of those things? I asked you below before, and I'll ask you down below in the comments on my link thread. What do you want from life? What are you trying to build? This is what you should be talking about when you're dating in your 30s and your 40s. So go ahead. Leave me that reply, check out the attachment bootcamp course or schedule a session with me and let's work on attachment and get you set up for a healthy dating life. While you're at it, subscribe to my channel and make sure you follow along because I've got a lot more information coming your way.